It's been a while since I've done a video, and since spring has finally arrived in the northern hemisphere, hooray, I thought I would do some spring cleaning and show you what I've learned over the winter. One of the things I've been playing with is how to create custom hands, because like you, uh, you may be like me, I'm kind of getting sick and tired of the same old hands over and over again. Like that one. So what I've done is I've created some custom hands, and I've basically used illustrations, although you could use photographs. It's basically an image that you bring into Videoscribe, and you offset the second version of the same image to give that appearance of drawing. So I'm going to give you an example. So this image here, for instance, I've got a zombie hand, and then I've got a regular hand again. I've got a zombie hand. Now obviously you're going to have one hand or the other, and not throughout, but I was just kind of playing. So to create your own custom hand, you're just basically going to, oh, there we are, we autosave. I'm going to go to the hand button up here, and I'm going to add my own. You're going to have two images, as I said. It's the same image, slightly offset. So I'm going to click on this first button, select my image. And I'm going to move the point of the pencil right to the crosshairs. Select the same image again and offset it ever so slightly. Again, that creates the movement, sort of the writing up and down. And then click on the check mark, and then there's my hand. If I want to preview it, let's say I want to preview this lovely zombie hand that I have here, you can see how it's going to look. So I mentioned on the screen here, you'll see it, that your image shouldn't be more than 200 by 300 pixels, so 200 uh, width by 300 height, just because it gets too large and unwieldy and sort of covers the entire screen. So if I want to actually now add that hand anywhere, I, like the zombie hand, I go to the image that I want, or I would set the default ahead of time. That's a good practice. Do the properties. Select the hand button. We're going to modify or choose a different hand. And then just search for your hand. Again, you'll see a little preview of it. You can save it and use the check mark. If you don't want that hand or you want no hand at all, you can go back to the properties, go back to the hand. The one option is to sort of use the default hand, just go back to that. Or again, you can cut, choose a different hand, which might include no hand up here. That's an option that you always have. And that is how you create custom hands. Simple.